Welcome to How Well You Know YouTube channel. Dear viewers, today, we bring you a gripping and poignant story that transcends the boundaries of the soccer field and delves into the life of a true legend, Andres Escobar. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our captivating tales. The football player who paid from life for the goal that went into the net by mistake. The protagonist of this story is the defender Andres Escobar, who represented the Colombian football team. Andres Escobar was born in 1967. He joined the national team and participated in the first international match in 1988. Since he is a backline defensive player, we don't see any goals scored in front of his name. But Escobar scored his first and only goal in the 1988 Rouse Cup football match against England. It was with the help of that goal that Colombia defeated England 1-0 that day. Having participated in 51 matches for the country, he was also selected for the Colombian team that participated in the 22nd Cup Football World Cup held in America in 1994. Colombia won 10 bonus points by defeating strong teams like Peru and Argentina in the qualifying round. Argentina had scored only 7 points but Colombia and Argentina were able to qualify for the preliminary round matches in their group. The cause of this most unfortunate incident was the 1994 World Cup tournament held in USA. Indeed, Escobar is a gentleman of the football field. It considered that Colombia is a country that is very famous for illegal activities such as drug distribution, thuggery and murder. But Escobar, who represented the Colombian football team, was known as gentleman among football fans. He is a player who followed the rules of football to the letter. That is why the players of the opposing teams treated him with love as much as the players of the Colombia football team. In 1994 FIFA World Cup, the A group included Romania, Switzerland and the host America along with Colombia. They lost 3-1 to to Romania in the first match. Dated the 22nd of June 1994, the match was against America. John Harks of America hit the Colombian net in the 35th minute after the start of the match. Escobar tried to stop the ball by sliding along the ground to avoid it being drawn to an USA player who was running toward the goal line. Unfortunately, the ball hit the foot of the fat Escobar and was pulled into the Colombian net. Because of that goal, USA went ahead 1-0 and ended the game with 2-1 goals. That day, Escobar left the field in tears. Later, in the final match of the A group, Colombia defeated Switzerland 2-0, but only Romania and Switzerland were able to advance from that group. Colombia could have qualified for the second round if they had not made that late mistake in the match against USA. Escobar was distraught by the unexpected event he faced. He returned home five days later, on the 2nd of July 1994. He went to a restaurant with a group of friends to share his grief and drank alcohol because he thought it would take away his heartache. Later, separated from his friends, he went to the El Indio nightclub alone. Escobar, who stayed there until around 3 o'clock the next morning, left it and went to the parking lot with the intention of going home because he felt sleepy. He just got into the car. Three unknown people appeared near the car. They continued to accuse Escobar. In a few moments one of the men pulled out a .38 caliber pistol. In the end, the conversation between them ended with six bullets ripping Escobar's body apart. Although a group admitted him to the hospital, Escobar was given only 45 minutes to live after being admitted to the hospital. Humberto Castro Munoz, who was known in Colombia at that time as a big better in soccer, and the driver of Santiago Galleon and a bodyguard of a powerful drug dealer, and two of his associates were arrested on suspicion of Escobar's death. Castro made a self-confession and admitted that he killed Escobar. Escobar's funeral was held with the participation of more than 120,000 people. The trial ended in June 1995 with Castro being sentenced to 43 years in prison. His companions were freed, but after amendments to the country's penal code in 2001, Castro's sentence was reduced to 26 years. Although he inherited an untimely death, Andres Escobar still lives in the hearts of Colombian sports fans. That is why the spectators who come to watch a football match in the country bring Escobar's large-size photos to the stadium. And a life-size statue of him in the center of the city of Medellin unveiled in 2001. In honor of Andres Escobar and his indomitable spirit, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for more stories that celebrate the passion, the triumphs, and the enduring legacies of remarkable individuals from the world of sports and beyond. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss a tale of inspiration and resilience. Thank you for joining us on this video stay tuned for more captivating stories right here on our channel.